Hey, welcome to Thirsty Amigos. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Uh, Merry Christmas Eve Eve. It is uh, December 23rd, so we are on the 23rd day of our Costco Brewers Advent Calendar. So let's see what day 23 brings. Uh, yesterday's beer was super delicious. Let's see if 23... Okay, here's an interesting thing here. Here's 23 right here. I'll poke it open. We'll open it up. But the beer has dropped down, actually. It has dropped down here to the next to day uh, below it. So it's still day 23. It wants to give me a little bit of fight. It's a fighter, but we got it. Day, it fell down to day 16. Oh, you all, there we go. All right light now all right what do we have for uh, it's a whitman uh land shooter spouts and brawl so it is a uh german wheat beer is what it looks like uh unsur original brewed according to the yeah rhino from 1516 this is imported from germany this one is oh it's one of the lowest ones 4.9% is what this one is. So it's pretty low. It's pretty good. All right, let's see. That way I can still go um, finish shopping for the day. Get my Saturday going. All right, let's check this out. 4.9%. Um, Should be a wheat beer type. Should be a nice golden. Oh, wow, that's super light. That is really light looking. Looks good though. Love the can. I love the green, red, and yellow. Looks good together. Obviously. Uh, it also has a uh, uh, code on it for uh, if you want to get more information. Uh, for all of these, you can go back and get that. The QR code you can scan. All right, this one. Wow, that looks really clear. It's one of the clearest beers we've had, especially in a while. And a really light color. Nice head on it. Ah, yeah, it's a wheat beer. Yeah, it's really classic. Just smells like a good wheat beer. A little bit of hops on it on the back end. But that's really good. Yeah, smells great. All right, I got to try this. Probably, 4.9 is probably going to be a session beer where you can drink a bunch of them. So let's give this a try. Salud. Oh yeah, it has a has a nice subtle wheat flavor to it, uh, running through the whole palate, and um, it's crisp. Yeah, there's no no fruit. It's not very sweet. That's a good. Sometimes uh, wheat beers can be too, uh, dare I say, weedy, or you're like, oh, this has too much wheat. It tastes like I'm chewing on bread or yeast or something like that doesn't have that aroma, but it lets you know there's enough there. The taste is really subtle, too, where it lets you know it's there, too. But it's not a, not a strong player in the flavor profile. That's really good. That's a good one. Very interesting. Uh, you say, hey, here's a wheat beer, and people turn this away. You're like, oh, try it. Give it a try. This would be one to see if they would like it or not. Could be a good uh, a stepping stone or gateway beer to other wheat beers. You ease them into it. Because some wheat beers can be pretty polarizing. But I really like this one. It's really good. Um, yeah, the flavor goes away, it goes away a little bit quick. But um, it, it, the finish is really good on it. Makes you want more. It really makes you want to go back for more. And at 4.9, it drinks a little bit he bigger than 4.9. I'm not. Like some of the early ones on uh, like the first few days. Was really crisp they were really crisp ones really lent themselves being um to, to drink them quick uh this this one at only 4.9 doesn't makes you want to just just drink on this all you know for a while go get another one drink on it for a while but you could definitely session it if you want to but this will be a really good i'm gonna look this one up too and see if it's here in in the denver area that's really 
another solid hit. Yeah, we're finishing big right now. So a success. Day 23. Um, uh, I'd say, yeah, I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings, Christmas Eve. So thanks for joining me on this episode. We will see you guys tomorrow. Salud.